Hello and welcome to this Jaguar XK video glove box. This is video 117 in our series of XK videos. In this video we're going to take a detailed look at the glove box, how it works, how to remove it and potentially how to fix it if it's broken. Now the reason we're taking the glove box off in this instance is we're doing some videos about changing the dashboard veneers back from what we've done with carbon fiber, carbon fiber vinyl wrap back to the original burr walnut. In order to do that you need to actually take the airbag off and there is some lower fixing bolts under, uh, behind the uh, glove box liner. Hence we have to take it off. So this video is broken down into six sections. Section 1 features, section 2 removal of the lid, section 3 removing the lock barrel just out of interest, section 4 removing the liner, section 5 the fixing or repair of the soft, of the soft opening system, and uh, section six, refitting and adjustment of the uh, glove box lid. Within this video, we used a few basic tools. We needed T30 and a T20 torque bits, uh, a star and a flat screwdriver. Uh, while we're in there, we took the opportunity to use some white grease for lubrication and change the bulb, the filament bulb, to L LED. The bulb, if you're interested, is a 233 BA95 or T4W and we actually use two pencils which will with the reason for that will come in towards the end when we go to adjustment. If you're watching this video you're obviously interested in Jaguar's Jaguar XK8 XKR X100 model. My suggest you take a look at our channel ONDR Montreal where you'll find more lots more videos on the same subject and we'd really appreciate it if you like the videos please press the thumbs up because that really does make a difference. In the meantime, back to the video. Okay, section one features of the uh, glove box. First of all, the major one is a soft opening. As you open the catch, it drops slowly down unless it's broken. And we'll show you how to fix that and how that works in a moment. The uh, glove box or knee bolster, first of all, it's lockable. It's padded to protect your knees in the event of an accident. There's a little pen holder in the front, handy, and uh, there's a light, light on the left hand side there, which is uh, triggered by the switch on opening the glove box. Just have a quick look at the bulb. There you are, the bulb holder is there, together with its connections. The top of the glove box is a document holder in that shelf that normally holds your driver's handbook. And to the left of that, there's a little pocket which seems to fit these touch-up pens very nicely. There are two holes in that pocket, as you can see there, but I'm not quite sure what they're for. If you do know, please let me know. But these touch-up sticks fit very nicely in there. One for the uh, colour, one for the lacquer. So there you go, the glove box assembly. There's a lid and a liner, and the lid is located with these catches. They are adjustable, which we'll go into later both sides with a little rubber bump stop. There you go. I say full adjustable in the horizontal. If we have a quick look at the back then while we're at it, there's I'll show you, quickly show you the damper. This is the major component of the soft opening. We'll go into a bit more detail on that in a moment. Okay, if you're interested, the uh, dimensions of the glove box is about 295 millimeters wide, 11.5 inches, and the depth of the deepest point is about 110 millimeters or 4.5 inches. Section two then, removing the glove box lid. The glove box assembly is located by eight fasteners altogether, four across the top and four across the bottom. The four across the bottom, you can see there, actually goes straight through the hinge. The, the four, those four fasteners, the two inner ones are actually just the hinges to the liner. The two outer ones go through the liner and attach the whole thing to the car body. And you can see there's a big clearance hole there on the car body for the inner ones. So if you want um, just to take the whole assembly off, you just have to change, just have to remove the outer ones. But I found it was quite uh, it's quite a lot easier to take them off as two in two parts so i took all the screws out the screws are jxb 19512 b's 
with a T30 Torx. I then literally just opened the glove box lid and the thing came, the whole assembly came out. There's just the um, the check cable to undo and they literally just push that down and it comes out. That's uh, XK10888. There you go, the glove box lid is off. It's literally as easy as that. The glove box lid itself is a GJA6260222 AE XXX, depending on your trim color. And the left and right hand part number seems to be the same. I'm not sure if it is, but it seems to be the same. Next, section three, we're going to have a look at the lock barrel on the handle. So basically, to move the glove box handle, you just have to take it off the uh, hinge point. Literally, with a screwdriver, it's easy as that. It just comes off and the handle is quite a nice little assembly with a lock barrel there, a couple of o-rings. To actually remove the lock barrel it's actually located with four tabs. The lock barrel is HJA7212BB and you literally leave those tabs out with the screwdriver and push them out. I'm not going to do it this time but it's very easy to take that lock barrel out. To actually refit it there is a return spring you need to orientate like that, fit the longer length of the spring into the small recess on the hinge, left hand side, locate the pivot and that captures the spring and then the right hand side you just push in and it's reassembled. However I've done it slightly wrong and um, this is why you need your pencils. It doesn't quite return quite correctly. Yeah. So what had actually happened is that there's two spring return um, bars in the back which operate the uh, the catches, and you need to make sure they're fully inboard before you um, attach your door your um, glove box handle. Now the best way to do this is to hold the glove box against the uh, liner slightly ajar, and you can do that by putting two pencils in the gap, and this makes sure that the um, the uh, catches aren't quite engaged in the in the uh, the liner, and then it's very easy to put the the handle back on the same way as we did before, and it should fully return like that. Job done. Bit of a top tip there. If you're watching this video, hopefully uh, you're enjoying it. Please press the like button, and um, it really does make a difference. Thank you very much. Okay, section four, removing the liner itself. As I, as I said, there's four uh, fixings at the top. Basically just unscrew those with your cross screwdriver and then pull the glove box or bolster liner out. The part number is GJA6122AH-J, depending on the year. It literally just jig, give it a jiggle and it'll drop out. What I noticed uh, when I took my liner out that the light had actually been disconnected or hadn't been reconnected when reassembled. So um, the loom was just hanging loose, might cause a rattle. So I remember to, to uh, connect that back up when I uh, reassemble. So there you go, the glove box knee bolster liner is out. While I got it out, I took the opportunity to change the bulbs over. Top tip to do that, literally just turn the bulb uh, counterclockwise, new bulb, make sure the tabs are horizontal as I'm pictured here, and turn it clockwise. Really easy to do when the glove box is out. I can imagine it's incredibly difficult to do it whilst it's in the glove box all assembled. As I said, the bayonet bulb is a uh, 2W, uh, sorry, 233 or a slash BA95 or T4W. The light lens can be removed and you can do it from the inside the car. Uh, the light lens is LJA5385AB. Okay, soft opening repair. So if you're opening your trunk to your glove box and it drops down, or actually it's a bit lumpy as mine was. There's a, a couple of failure modes. One, the the, uh, the actual check check cable crimp breaks away. I don't think the ch the check cables actually break. It's just the crimps uh, uh, break away. 
and or loosen and the, the cable comes out. So that's actually happened to me. I repaired mine just by recrimping them on and then putting some uh, tape around to hold it. And actually the damper valve can get very dry and uh, notchy. So if we have a quick look at the mechanism, you can see there's the damper and you've got the check cable there attached to the lid. As I say, the damper is part number XK88879 and the check cable is XK10888. My first attempt to smooth my damper was to spray some uh, white grease in the top of it. There are some vents in the top of it there. Didn't wholly work, so I ended up removing the piston, sorry, the damper piston itself. Uh, there's two screws uh, with a cross screwdriver to remove that. And then actually remove the uh, the damper or piston cap altogether. There's two tabs on the side you depress and you just pull the, the cap off. And then the second attempt was actually to uh, add white grease below the piston in the bottom of the damper, as, as like that. And then actually take a quick, I took a quick look at the damper o-ring, make sure it's in good condition. If that would be broken, it would affect the damper operation. It seemed reasonably good. Probably not in, it's not brand new obviously, but it looked reasonably good. And then I reassembled and added white grease in the top. So there you go, it's got white grease everywhere. Then finally I reassembled the whole thing and uh, then removed any excess white grease. So then I reassembled the piston back in position again, fixing the screws, really easy stuff. It's, it's quite tricky because the, uh, the damper tries to pull itself over all the time. But there you go. So, testing that with lubricated uh, damper, it is a lot slower, still not quite um, smooth, but definitely improvement if that damper is lubricated. It's obviously sealing a little bit better. Uh, section 6 then, refitting and adjustment. So, as I said, there's four fixings on the lower part of the glove box. These are actually slotted to give vertical adjustment. Those are the T30s. And the tops, the upper lid, um, the lid upper stops are actually horizontal adjustment and there's a little T20 torque screw there and those stops will move in the vertical um, in and out. So as I said, the glove box closing adjustment, the major one is this top one really, um, to get it to close on the catch properly. You see there. So, uh, lastly, if you want more room, you can actually remove the upper shelf in your glove box. So a top tip, if you want a little bit more room in your glove box, you want to put a larger item in than you can actually take, you can move the, the upper shelf. The upper shelf is located with uh, six taps. The part number is GJA6023AB. And to actually remove it is very easy. You just push the top tabs down. You could probably do that within the vehicle itself without removing it, to be honest. There's two at the back you need to push forward. And there's one or two on the side. Uh, not that side, it's actually the other side. The, the locating, there you go, you can see it just there. Just push that in. It's quite difficult to do one-handed, usual excuse. Uh, just pull it inboard, there you go. And push it down an angle and it comes out. And it literally is as easy as that. Not sure if you want to have more room in your glove box, but there's the option. I say no upper shelf, it's a lot bigger aperture. So there you go, um, features, removing the lid, the lock barrel, removing the liner, repairing your soft opening or lubricating and refitting, refitting and adjustment. So there you go, I've got uh, the uh, glove box out, I've actually I now actually took the airbag off and I'll show you that in the next video. Thank you very Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that interesting. Please like, comment, share and subscribe if you'd like to see more XK videos.